guys, how's it going? It's me, the Flatter Sage again. Um, I was on uh, one of my lengthy deliveries, so I thought I'd make a little video. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's about Islam. reasons why I think Islam is a false religion. And I already made a video earlier. I tried making a second video on the live stream, but my live stream's not working for some reason, so gotta do it on here. Anyway, um, the first thing I think we should um, talk about is what is Islam exactly. Islam is a belief, is, is a collection of teachings from the, from the holy book, the Muslim holy book known as the Quran, and uh, it's a teachings of their prophet named Muhammad, um, who supposedly saw the angel um, Jibreel, or what is it, or um, as we believers know him as Gabriel, the angel Gabriel, and Gabriel supposedly told Muhammad some things. Now, hopefully by the time I'm done explaining this, hopefully you'll, you'll know that this being, whatever it is, was not an angel, it was definitely not Gabriel. Um, so, let's begin. Um, one part I want to... I want to start off with is that Jabril, Gabriel, um, wanted uh, or told Muhammad, God has no son. That is crazy. You're telling me, Gabriel, the angel that went to the Virgin Mary, told her she was going to be blessed with giving birth to the Son of God just ended up saying, oh, no, 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 he, he doesn't actually have a son. Allah doesn't have any sons. And, uh, which is weird to me, because we know that, um, that God has a son. His name is Yeshua, or what most English-speaking individuals call Jesus. Let's see. Um, another thing. Um, now, so basically, this was a collection of teachings by, um, written by Muhammad that was dictated supposedly by Gabriel. Um, so, Let's go into a little bit about what those teachings actually talk about. Um, well, for starters, the Quran, the Sahari translation, which is the um, probably one of the best translations um, for the Quran, um, talks about, or at least a hundred different times, talks about um, violent um, things, violent fences. In fact, Muhammad even had his own kill list, and you can go look that up. Now, you can go look that up at your own leisure and look up and see. Like, we'll have the name of the person. Um, one of them, off the top of my head, um, was a guy. I can't remember what his last name was, but it was Abu something, and he was a Jewish poet. And basically, they ordered him killed because of his um, portrayal of. Muhammad through his poems. Um, the result, he was ended, and basically he ended up being killed. Um, there's tons and tons and tons of these individuals. Um, uh, it's sick. It um, literally talks about laying terror in your enemy's eyes and stuff like that, um, which is probably, you know, that's probably where terrorism came from, I'm sure. Um, what else?
else are we, what else? Uh, now, a little bit more, uh, um, the Quran also says that there are no animals, no solitary animals, that all animals work together in communities like we have communities. Um, I'm sorry, Muhammad, that would be incorrect, as leopards, pandas, um, and um, plenty of other animals I can't think of off the top of my head. Uh, live solitary lives. It's an established fact. Also, it says that all animals, that there's a male and a female for all animals, all living creatures. Uh, that's not true either. Um, if you know a little bit about me, you know one of my personal hobbies is gardening. Um, most plants reproduce asexually. They don't need, um, it doesn't have to be male or female. They can reproduce uh, oftentimes in budding. Um, and, um, you know, um, also, there's plants that require pollination from insects. Um, so, you know, it's just uh, a little bit, a little bit ridiculous. Um, so those are just a few things that the Quran talks about. It also talks about great rewards for killing your In enemies half a mile. who don't believe. Turn right on Passive Adams E Road. Um, literally, um, they talked about um, striking the neck of people who don't believe. And they believe that the Jews should have to pay a tax for not believing their religion. And if they don't pay the tax, they are executed by the sword. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's really once you really start looking into it and really examining it, um, it, it's just nothing but turn right on Passive Adams E Road. It's nothing but atrocities and nasty, nasty things going on. And if you thought that was in a sick, quarter of a mile. Turn left on Forest Ridge Drive. Let's talk about something called Sahari Law, or Shahari Law, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, this law allows, dictates that to have a wife and to consummate a marriage, um, two area, it can fall under two areas. You can either marry a woman who's been, to, or actually three, can marry a woman turn left on forest ridge drive then turn right on newton lane so you can marry a woman that's been divorced um you can marry a woman who no longer has her menstruation so who's gone through menopause and the most sickening thing of all you can marry not a woman a girl turn right on newton never lane menstruated meaning a child you can marry, with this law, basically a 40-year-old man can marry a 5-year-old little girl. You'll arrive at 8,550 Newton Lane, Pass of Pattensy, Virginia. Your destination will be on your right. So basically, they can, they can do that. So a 40-year-old man can marry a 5-year-old little girl. And I believe by the time they're 8 years old, that 40-year-old man can have sex with and consummate the marriage. So... And these, these girls are suicidal. They they have signs up, videos saying I'd rather die and stuff like that. Why can't I die and stuff? It's it's fucking sick. Little girls should not have to be have that constant thought. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. But anyway, guys. I do I just wanted to do a little video. Those are my reasons why I believe that this is a false religion and this is not of God. Um, I didn't go super in depth. I didn't give a whole lot of reasons, but I think the few reasons I did give um, should be proof evident enough that Islam is not the one true religion and it is not and it is a completely false religion and it is not acceptable by God in any circumstances. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching my video. I love you guys all. I hope
hope you guys have a great night. Peace.